Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So, before we get into some NHL action for January 9th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this VIP clutch section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we want to look at four games. There's only four uh, schedules. So we're going to take a look at all of them. So, let's go down and take a look at the first one here. We have Philadelphia versus Buffalo. You see both teams coming in at burning hot. Philadelphia has won their last three and four out of their last six. And you see over at Buffalo's side, they have won five out of the last six games. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see the trend here for Buffalo. They were at 16. They climbed up to 9, uh, 21 back on January 1st, and they have dipped to plus 16. While Philadelphia has been on an upward trend, they've been down most of the year. They're, they have climbed up to plus 11. If you take a look at the score predictor, Buffalo 3, Philadelphia 2, with confidence in prediction of 62%. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Flyers have been involved in games over the line, so a lot of high-scoring games over in the last six. Buffalo also over in four out of the last six. It's a good indication to bet the over on this one. If we take a look now at the head-to-head -head matchup, uh, you can see Buffalo won the first meeting between the teams back on September 27th, 2-1 to one as a home favorite. You take a look at the stability factor. Here's one thing that's kind of important. Both teams have been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Plus uh, nine for Buffalo, plus eight for Philadelphia. In the end, I do like Buffalo to win this one at home uh, in a game going over the line. Nashville and Ottawa. Nashville comes in. Uh, in the middle of the pack in their division as well as Ottawa, but you see Ottawa is at burning hot right now compared to average for Nashville. That's because they have won four out of their last five games, and Nashville is coming off of a win, and they are three and three over their last six. If you take a look at the over/under, they have been on opposite sides as far as, far as that goes. Nashville involved in high-scoring games in all of their last six. Why you see Ottawa has been under in four out of their last six. If you take a look at this, 69%, this is a uh, score prediction, Ottawa 3, Nashville 1. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, you can see an up and, up and down movement for both teams. Ottawa is at plus 15 back on December 31st. They dipped to plus 5 the day later, and now they're back up to plus 14, while Nashville is sitting now at plus 9. Take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup. Uh, well... And back on December 10th, Ottawa won as a road underdog by a 3-2 score. The stability factor of the teams consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog stats. Well, yes, they are. You can see here, Ottawa at plus 12, uh, more stable than Nashville. Nashville is still pretty stable and more so recently as you see an upward trend in the line there at plus 7. So in the end here, I like Ottawa to win again, probably by about the same two-goal margin, but I would pass on the over-under. The next game we want to look at is the Seattle Kraken and the Montreal Canadiens. Seattle coming in, winners of their last two and three and three over their last six. They are burning hot at the moment, while Montreal dead stats, losers of their last six, and they are last in their division, while Seattle is third in the Pacific. If you take a look at the over-unders, here's a good game to bet the over. The teams have combined in games over the line in 11 of the last 12. Only one game under, that was involved with uh, Montreal. The score predictor has Seattle by a 4-3 score with an almost 56% level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator chart, up and downward movement for Seattle. They were at plus 10 as of December 30th. They were up to plus 21 on December 22nd, and now they are back to plus 17. You can see Montreal on a, a pretty steady, consistent downward trend, and they are just at plus 3. The stability factor... Seattle is not very consistent with regard to the fair underdog status. They're at minus one. In fact, they were at a high of plus two back on October 19th. While Montreal is extremely stable, doesn't mean they're good. It just means that they're losing, mostly losing as underdogs, and they're at plus nine. So in the end, I don't see that how Montreal is really going to do much in this one. I like Seattle to win by a goal or two, and I would go in a game over the line. The last game scheduled is Edmonton at Los Angeles. The Kings come in at second in the division, and Edmonton is fifth. Uh, both teams not playing their best hockey, although Los Angeles is average up. 
They've won three out of their last four, but they're just four and two over their last six. While Edmonton is averaged down, loses up their last two games, and they are three and three over their last six. The score prediction has all Los Angeles five to two, but take notice it's only 16% level confidence. So take that with a grain of salt. Look at that as it gets closer to the game to see if that has changed at all. As far as the over-under goes, you can see that Los Angeles over in five out of the last six, Edmonton over in four out of the last six. So good indication to bet the over on this one. The power ranks indicator shows a clear advantage for Los Angeles at plus 23 compared to plus 13, but notice they are both on a slight downward trend over the last few days. And the stability factor, take it with a grain of salt, neither team has performed well with regard to their favorite underdog status, minus six for Edmonton, minus three for the Kings. In the end, I like the Kings to win this one. I say by two goals, it won't be much of a contest, and this will be a game that is going to be high scoring, entertaining for those that like offense. So the Kings over the line. So there you have it. Those are all the games for the NHL for January the 9th. Happy betting, and see you next time. <laughs>